Hello my lovely little slacks, I am back with another creepy video. Today, we're going to talk about real scary things that you should fear. Before I start this video, remember to like and subscribe to my channel, follow me on and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I hope you love them. Uh, welcome to all our new members and old members of our pack, and I really hope you like it, so we'll be intro. <laughs> First thing we're going to talk about, cooties. Now, I'm not talking about the disease that you get when you're in kindergarten, or don't get, I should say, because it's not real. However, we're going to be, we're, what I mean by cooties is not the kindergarten term, but you might be thinking, what other cooties are there? Well, there is a type of parasite that is called cooties. And you might know it as lice. The lice of the first world. War trenches, nicknamed cooties. We're also known as, uh, I'm going to try to read this as best as I can, anthromatic bugs. I hope I said that right. Because they added to our uh, trouble, subjected from our pleasures, divided our attention, and multiply like hell. In Italy, children have the term uh, le pis, le pis, aka the plague. So, not only are cooties real, but they're not a disease, it's more of a parasite than a disease. Up next, getting hit by lightning. Getting hit by lightning is a very, 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 very serious thing, and I would never, ever make make fun of anyone for it, I just want to say out there, but it is terrifying. Now, a lot of people might be asking, John, what are the chances of us actually getting struck by lightning? Well, the chances of being struck by lightning are 300,000 to 1, with 24,000 people getting hit and killed a year, says the BBC News. I am not kidding. That's an actual fact. You can look it up. 24,000 people. Yeah, 24,000 people get hit a year. That's a lot. Coming up next is... Coming up next, car crashes. Now, a lot of people say when you're driving to be careful to plan ahead. But what a lot of people don't tell you, and probably not even teachers tell you, is that you can't plan. You can plan all you want for a car crash, but most of the time, that doesn't help. Because, for instance, the other, uh, yeah, last night I went to go get some snacks. Uh, my dad was driving in there, and all of a sudden, this random girl just runs across the road for no apparent reason, and we almost crashed into him. You can't. You can't plan for everything when it comes to car crashes. All you can do is be more careful and pay attention. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. According to the National Highway Traffic Administration, car accidents happen every 60 seconds. That equals to about 5.25 million accidents across the nation on a yearly basis. 5.25 million car accidents. What? And that's messed up. Because, I, I, and car crashes can be considered like if you're drunk driving, if it's raining and you can't see, if you need glasses, etc. So, that's another thing you have to worry about. Is you got to try your best to be safe and you should be fine. Coming up next. Disgusting fast food facts. Now it's no secret we all love fast food. I personally am a burger, a pizza guy, uh, so I, I really love those foods. But after what I'm about to tell you, you're going to realize that you're going to hate fast food now. Fries have so many preservatives that they don't rot for three years. Burgers don't rot for 14 years. 
the cheese is only 49% cheese. What? You gonna tell me my cheeseburgers might not even be real cheese? Seriously. Burger King, why don't you go off to Walmart or some shit or contact their suppliers or whatever. Because Walmart will sell you real cheese, but then again, that also might not be real, so, meh. The milkshakes have more chemicals than many fertilizers. What? Whoa. No. My milkshakes are infected too. If we can't trust the fast food companies, who can we trust? He said that sarcastically. Coming up next, we're going to talk about frozen viruses. Now, everyone, uh, we all know about climate change, and we all try to fix it as best as we can, at least. But, there are tons and tons of ancient viruses that are frozen in ice and still active and alive. So it's not like they're dead or anything. These are living, uh, activated viruses that we probably don't even know how to cure or even prevent. And climate change is making that ice melt. And if the ice melts, it'll get released into the oceans. And then eventually we will contract them and the human race will be fucked. Even though this world is fucked, but still. Um, and so, all we can do is try our best. Either try to stop climate change, or at least stop it from progressing. Uh, reverse the climate change, or even just go to another planet. You know, I, that may, the last one might take a while, but it, I don't think it's impossible, it just might take a while, but other than that, we're fine. And, coming up next, we're going to talk about spontaneous human combustion. Now, spontaneous human combustion doesn't exactly happen every time. Um, it's very, very, very rare, but also very real at the same time. And it's terrifying. And the most terrifying part, nobody knows. No, not one person knows why it happens. There's a theory that it could be a chemical reaction in your body, but it has not been proven. Um, there have been so many cases of it. And what's weird about the case is, unlike a, one of the other, one of the older um, theories about it, is that someone could be smoking a cigarette or uh, a cigar and drop it and it might catch you on fire and then catch your skin on fire and release your fat which is actually flammable in humans and uh, because of that you'll catch on fire but that was debunked because if that was a bigger fire they'd be running around and other things would be on fire but when human spontaneous human combustion occurs there is slight damage there could be a melted, there could be ash everywhere, uh, slight burns here and there, but not really that much damage. It's not a thousand dollars worth of damage, more like two, one or two hundred dollars worth of damage. That's nothing. Everyone knows fires can be cost like thousands of dollars worth of damage at least. And why? Why? How, the only thing that has the most damage to it is the person. Everything is slightly scorched, but the human itself is just ash with a few chunks of the body being left over, such as like the legs or the arms or your ears or whatever. But like I said, no one knows why this happens. And until the theory about the chemical reaction is proven, we still don't know why it happens. But uh, like I said, you should fear it, but at the same time, it's very rare. So there's that. So, yes. Thank you guys for watching this creepy video. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't seen my last video, I'll put it in the description for you guys so you can check it out. Um, so, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.